Well, I'm Jason. Uh, I'm a second year in the Early Childhood Studies degree, and I'm also doing my Early Years Professional status. Um, I suppose it's quite an interesting story how I got here. Uh, I used to be a DJ for 15 years, techno house, nightclubs, um, outdoor parties, all sorts. Um, I really got into my music. Um, and then I started, someone got me involved in teaching young people. Um, first, of, first of all in Sheffield, um, you'd get a few kids that you know, needed help, um, needed a, you know, a bit of a base. Uh, for their lives and do something you know that wasn't trouble basically and uh, we started running um, an open college network level two in DJ production skills and I'd teach them for 10 weeks and we had all sorts we had kids that would be in trouble from the law been excluded from schools or whatever now I, I obviously knew quite a few DJs and I'd get them involved but not all of them could teach most of them could DJ, but <laughs> teaching was a different thing, really. And I discovered I was actually very good at it. And I ended up rewriting the whole course because I didn't think it was good enough. And I changed the whole way it worked and actually got involved with revamping the actual OCN. Um, and it wasn't till I had my own children um, and I started taking them. Uh, well, I actually had to look after them because my partner went back to work and I was working in the evenings. And I discovered. I loved kids and kids loved me, that was the weird thing, <laughs> just suddenly, you know, I'd go to a playgroup and they'd throw themselves at me, you know, and I'd always be the one parent that all the kids would line up, read me a story, do this, do that, and I just loved playing with them, um, and then when I took my little boy to school for the first time, he had a male primary teacher in reception, and he was a really cool guy, and it was great to see him working with so many little babies, basically, mm. they were all so young. And he, he was fantastic, he was really inspirational and it sort of, something twigged and I thought this is what I want to do. And I actually looked around for various courses, um, maybe just to go into primary teaching uh, and then I saw um, the Doncaster Early Childhood and, uh, and that's when I phoned you and told mm. you my background and uh, I get, got accepted and I've absolutely loved it, it's changed my life. You know, I, I sort of thought I knew what I was doing as a parent, but now I've got the theoretical knowledge behind it of why certain things are good to help children develop, and and I just find every lecture fascinating. Some I know sometimes probably my classmates are annoyed with me putting my hand up all the time, <laughs> but I just find it too interesting. I just want to know more and more, and when I get an essay, I get all the books out quite eagerly to learn about it. Um, and I think that's where the early years professional status has come in because I've got all the theory and now I've been thrown in at the deep end three days a week into a, a setting and I've got to put all that into practice. Um, and I'm getting great support and criticism from my mentor. Um, she's fantastic. And uh, I don't know, it's, you know it, it, in a way I think I came here wanting to become a primary teacher and I think I'll leave wanting to go into early childhood, mm. you know, early years, because mm. it's just fascinating and I feel like I can make a, a difference. And being a man as well, is, is, I think, is, a, is another side of the story. Mm. And as I say, I sort of, I got a bit jaded about the bigger universities. I, you know, it probably would have taken me long, that long to get on a bus or a tram to get to yeah. my lectures anyway yeah. whereas I'm going in the opposite direction out into the countryside yeah. and it's a nice easy drive over here um, but you know the facilities are amazing the the library I, uh, I always embarrass them every year by saying thank you and telling them how great they are and they, <laughs> they look absolutely stunned yeah. but I love that place I go in yeah. and they're so helpful and the books are invariably there that I need I don't know if none of the other girls are getting out the books but I know I am <laughs> Uh, and you can always get access to yeah, the and the computers and are brilliant because there's loads of journals online yeah. which are often more interesting than the books themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've just I've found it a breeze on that. So as long as I've put in the work, there's been nothing getting in my way, and that that's what you want from yeah. a course. You mm -hmm. want to go into a course and feel like if I put the work in, then I'm going to do well, and that's what's happened to me so far. It's just been brilliant.